Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you how I put together these really adorable elevated farmhouse style baskets. I'm going to use them for Thanksgiving, throughout Christmas and into the next year. Let's get started with the supply list that you're going to need. All right, so these are the supplies you're gonna need for this project. These are two of the little essential baskets. They are over near the storage section. I bought two of them whenever I see these. I like to grab a couple of them because they are great for multiple projects. Also, I have some of these glass candlestick holders. I have these down in my basement stocked up, but they are from Dollar Tree, so I'll use a few of those. Um, then I have some of the Waverly white chalk paint from Walmart. Um, and a little foam brush to apply the paint to what I'm gonna be doing today. Also, this is some of that nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I have a little leftover, as well as some of this burlap ribbon. This is the lighter color from Dollar Tree. Um, I've used this a lot in the past. Um, this is also the darker one. Both of these I have left over from previous projects, so we're gonna use those. Then I found these really cute little Jolie's Boutique. They are a little knit floral sticker. This is the first time I've seen them from Dollar Tree, so I figured I would pick up two of them for this project. Also some scissors and some hot glue and a hot glue gun. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my white chalk paint that I have here and I have a little container that I put some of the chalk paint in. We're just gonna do a quick coating of this chalk paint on these glass candlestick holders. And I'm gonna cover the entire thing, um, top and bottom. If you need a second coating of this paint, it does dry quickly. So you can go ahead and just let that dry and do a second coating. All right, so while these are drying, I'm gonna start working on my baskets here. I have these little cute baskets. I'm gonna take this um, ribbon that we have from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to line the inside of the baskets with this little burlap ribbon. Okay, so I found out that it's definitely easier to cut this ribbon into smaller pieces to work with it um, if you're trying to line this basket. I tried to do it before with um, a full roll and it just doesn't, it doesn't lay right on the inside. So cut it into pieces, add some hot glue, and just stick that hot glue right into the mesh of the wire baskets. And we're just gonna continue to kind of work around in a circular motion all the way around on the inside, covering the entire inside of that basket with our ribbon.
our handles glued on to both of our little baskets that we have right here and now we're gonna start working on the next step which will be adding the little base to this little basket which is these little candle holders and I'm gonna just take some hot glue put it right around the top portion of the taper candle holder and I'm gonna flip this upside down and just place it right in the dead center of the base of the basket. Just hold it there until it sets, put that one aside, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the second basket. Just put a little hot glue and place it right down dead center into this basket, um, just like that. Takes just a few seconds to dry. If you want this more of a secure, permanent hold, you can always use the um, E6000 glue. But for this project, I'm just gonna use hot glue. All right, so now we're gonna take these super cute little knit flower stickers that I got from Dollar Tree, and we are going to hot glue these right to the edge of these little pillared baskets. They're gonna be so cute. They actually work really perfectly. The color scheme is just really nice. I love the black with the ivory piping around the edge. Just think it looks really, really farmhousey glam. Okay, so here are the finished elevated farmhouse style baskets. I actually stuck them out on my dining room table. Um, I think they look really cute out here. I did have them in my living room for a little bit, but I just threw some pumpkins in them. I actually have little gold skulls that I got from, I think it was either Dollar Tree or the Target Dollar Spot, one of the two places. But we only have a couple more days until Halloween, so I kind of wanted to add a little bit of Halloween to them. Um, so there's one right there. That's the one with the darker of the fabric on the inside. And then I have the other one over here, which again, just a cute, couple cute little pumpkins. And that's got the lighter fabric. But I just loved how they turned out. Very rustic, but yet a little chic. Um, I'm going to be able to use them not only for... Um, this time of year, but also as we transition to Christmas and then even after Christmas um, throughout the year. They're just so versatile and so cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little DIY. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this centerpiece, I have a DIY going up this week um, on how I made this gorgeous centerpiece, all Dollar Tree items. Um, I made it for around $18. I'm serious, it looks like a $100 piece. Everybody who comes here is like, wow, I love that. So that is going out very soon. So make sure you subscribe, turn on that little notifications bell so you're notified when I post my new videos. We will see you guys again real soon. Hope you have a great afternoon. Take care.